Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to those who elect. I'm, uh, this lesson is uh, will be entitled On the Gentiles. Just some quick that I ran across just while doing my own study. But uh, it's Romans 15 and 8. It says, Now I say that Yahweh Shai Mashiach was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of the Most High to confirm the promises made unto the fathers and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy as it is written for this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name now when you deal with the context of the word Gentiles let's just look it up real quick you look up that word in the Greek, it's ethnos. Now it says, a multitude, whether of men or of beasts, associated or living together, a company, a troop, or swarm, a multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus, the human family, a tribe, nation, people group. Now, out of all those definitions I just read, one thing that they all got in common is that they're all... Uh, Familiar with each other. It says a multitude, whether of men or beasts, associated or living together. So that's that's they got things in common. Look, a company, troop, or swarm. Y'all all soldiers are the same, you know, the division. A multitude of individuals of the same nature or genus. All right, now let's look up genus. All right. Just get to the point in philosophical and general use, a class of things that have common characteristics and that can be divided into subordinate kinds. Now, the tribes, you know, Judah, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, you know, Issachar, all the various tribes are, are, are different kinds of the same of the same thing. And what is that thing? Israel. Those are all the subsections of Israelites. All right. So it says uh, a tribe, nation, people group in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, foreign nations not worshiping the true God, pagans, Gentiles. And, and, and the reason why sometimes our people are referred to as Gentiles is because what the, uh, they are not worshiping the true uh, power. They're not worshiping the true God. OK. And when you jump over to uh, just grab Deuteronomy real quick, Deuteronomy 32. Uh, see, look, Deuteronomy 32 and four says he is the rock. His work is perfect for all his ways are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children, meaning the children of the Lord look a certain way. You, when you, uh, the children of, of the Lord appear a certain way. Now, I don't mean physically, you know, uh, necessarily, but I mean in, in character, in characteristics, in actions. All right. They are perverse and cricket. All right. Let me see. Let me see. All this is good, but I'm trying to get to the point where. Uh, uh, 32, it says for their vine is it says for their vine is of the vine of Sodom. All right. You know, because when you're dealing with uh, when you're dealing with agriculture and you're dealing with farming. You know, vines, uh, uh, seeds and stems, they all got their own uh, their own characteristics. You know, they got they got their own their, their own specific planting. All right. So our the Lord planted us what a noble vine. See, the Lord said uh, we'll grab that in a second. The Lord planted us a noble vine. Then we became degenerate. All right. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom. What is Sodom known for? OK. Alphabet and of the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes 
our grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons. And what is wine? Philosophy. All right. Who's the dragon? All right. Uh, Esau, Edom. So our people forfeit. All right. The wisdom of the scriptures. OK. And take on the wine or the wisdom of Esau, Edom, which is actually poison. It says their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asp. All right. And asp is a, is, a, is, a, is another snake. All right. Jeremiah 2 and 21. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Let's look up that word strange. All right. If this app will work. Uh, what is that? Jeremiah 2 and 21. Strange. Foreign. Nakaria. Foreign. Alien. Foreign. Foreigner. Foreign woman harlot. So another word for foreigner. Okay. Is what? A, gen a synonym would be a Gentile. All right. So the Lord planted us uh, in a righteous way and we adopted the ways of the heathen and we became Gentile in our uh, Gentilic. <laughs> we became Gentile in our characteristics, you know. So that's why in context, when you read certain, uh, certain scriptures, anytime the, the, the main context is anytime salvation Glory, honor, and promises are made with the Gentiles in mind, then by default, that's automatically talking about an Israelite. All right, and we can we'll further prove that. So back in uh Romans 15. Uh Romans 15 and verse. Let's see. It says Nine, it says, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, for this cause, I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name, unto thy name. Now, where was it written? It's written in the Old Testament. And what you know uh, and what the thing that's associated with the Old Testament in Christianity is how uh, the Gentiles wasn't promised salvation, you know. So when we bring up, you know, when, 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 you know, the true men of the Lord, you know, those who believe in, you know, uh, the, the Israelite uh, faith, so to speak, in a, in a, especially in the sense that only Israelites can be saved. When we bring that up, a lot of people in the Christian uh, doctrine believe that that's an Old Testament notion. Right. But here it is. And in, in uh, Paul is quoting the Old Testament. In, in, in reference to Gentiles being saved. So this is 2 Samuel 22 and 50. All right. Uh, I believe this is David speaking. It says, therefore, I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. All right. So we, would, we are not to be among the heathen. OK, oh, I, I read that in my um, in my Bible. All, when you read about the scriptures, it speaks about us being separate from the, from the heathen. Deuteronomy 32 and 8, the Lord, when he separated the sons of Adam, he did so according to the, uh, the children of Israel. All right. Uh, so let me, let me pull up the, the psalm. I mean, the Samuel 22 and 50 to put it just so it can be on screen. All right. See, now let's look up heathen. All right. This is what the the ish people it say goy, but it's uh goya or gawaya. All right, nation people, nation people, usually of non-Hebrew people, of descendants of Abraham of Israel. So what's the proper context? All right. He said he will give praise. Okay, 
It says, therefore, will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. So continuing in um, in the Romans 15 and 9, because he quoted he quoted that. But watch as he watch as he first watch as Paul further goes on. It says, and again, he said, rejoice ye Gentiles with his people. Right. Rejoice ye Gentiles with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and laud him, all ye people. And and again, Isaiah said, which is, that's Isaiah, there shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentile, Gentiles, in him shall the Gentiles trust. So in who? Those of our people, all right, who are connected, all right, because the, uh, when you, we looked up the word genus, all right, Basically, they're just a subgroup of the same of the same kind. All right. Like you, you got dog, you got a dog, but you got various different types of dogs. But guess what? They all dogs. All right. So let's jump to let's jump to uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 43. Back back in the Old Testament. Right. Because because. Uh. Paul just went back to the Old Testament to, to, to further realize a point. And we know in the Old Testament, even even Christian, even the Christians say that, well, oh, yeah, that was the Old Testament when the Lord would, would, uh, wouldn't save no, any Gentiles. Right. <laughs> so it says uh, and this is Deuteronomy 32. Uh, the majority of this chapter is, is the Song of Moses. All right. And the Song of Moses is actually a prophecy. OK. And when you read in a matter of fact, let me see if it, if it headlines it with that. No. And when you read in the New Testament, I believe it's Revelation. The song of the song of Moses is, is sung. All right. Revelation 15 and three. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God and the song of the Lamb, saying great and marvelous are thy works. Lord God almighty, just and true are thy ways. Thou king of saints. All right. So. Deuteronomy 32 is the song of uh, the song of Moses up until about the let me see up until about verses one all the way to about uh, 47. OK. Uh, no, no, no. To about 43. But anyway, nevertheless. Deuteronomy 32 and 43. It says, Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. Okay? Now, in the time of Moses and the time after Moses, what was the Israelites doing to all the nations? Warring with them, putting them in subjection. All right? Going back and forth, striving, struggling. All right? Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. For he will avenge the blood of his servants. So who's who will receive the vengeance? All right. The other the other nations. All right. It says and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. OK. So let's jump to Jeremiah three and twenty three. Jeremiah 3 and 23 says, truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. So the hills represent small nations and, and the mountains represent bigger nations. All right. Truly in Yahweh, our power is the salvation of Israel. OK, that's that's plain. Let's jump to let's jump to uh, Psalm. Two, starting at verse one. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? See, a lot of these are imaginations. All right. They're, 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 they're misconceptions. And, 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 and then once you already got the wrong notion, then your, your, your imagination take over and run rampant. All right. Anybody with a with a uh, with a uh, ob objective outlook. You just read the Bible without the uh, 
without the input of the world, would say what it says. You, it's, it's clear. It's plain. You know. It says the kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together. Don't don't this happen? Hasn't it always happened? You know, you got the United Nations, you got these various different leagues of people against the Lord. Now, what did uh, what did uh, what was that Bush, the first Bush say? What if we nations got to put our differences aside to to fight a uh, 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 quote unquote so called UFO invasion? All right. That's part of them taking counsel together against the Lord. It says, and against his anointing, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from among us. And who's the Lord anointed? The Israelites. And all the nations, regardless of their bickering with each other, they're, they're in one consent when it comes to keeping us down, you know, from all the very nations. See, all the, all the other nations can come over here. And and, 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 and and be treated as better citizens and treated with better uh, uh, opportunities and, and things like that. The so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, like when the, when, when, when the so-called 9-11 happened, how many how many policemen, uh, how, how many policemen uh, uh, accidentally killed Arabs? All right. You might have had some 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 incidents where, you know, might have yelled at them, you know, beat beat some of them up. But but with everything that's been going on since 9-11 and Iraq and Afghanistan and all of that, how many times, and, and especially in the information age with, with all these camera phones and all of that, how many times you see an Arab get accosted by the police or a, a, a shot or something? See, it says, uh, verse four, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Who is the them? The heathens. All right. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath. And vex them in his sore displeasure. So eventually, everything that's happening on earth is a. Uh, let's uh, jump to Joel, the third chapter. It said, For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So this is this was happening in Joel that I'm, I'm precepting um, the Psalms, the second chapter. That's happening right now. That they being gathered over there uh, in the Middle East, all those various different nations. That's the Lord doing that. Why? For his people, Israel, not Israel and company, not Israel and friends. All right. It says, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. All right. So eventually when World War Three pop up, that will be the Lord uh, of vexing. All right. These nations with uh, with his sore displeasure. All right. And I and will plead with them there for my people. When you look up that word plead. It means judge or punish. All right. You can say you can you can actually say punish right there, too. Back in Psalms, the second chapter, it says, uh, verse six, yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion, the Israelites, the king is Jehovah Shai. All right. It says, I will declare the decree. The Lord, like this, this is a decree. All right. When you watch them old movies and, and you watch them old movies, them period pieces, when the messenger come. With a, with a, and he opened up a scroll and said, by decree of the king, like meaning like like this going to be enforced. This was going to stand it says, I will declare the decree. Yahweh have said unto me, thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. All right. That's talking about Yahweh shot for you. Old Testament only people. This was this was decreed by the father. All right. It says, ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen. For thine inheritance, all right? So uh, an inheritance is a possession. It says, in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So the earth and the heathen is synonymous with, with, is synonymous with being owned by the Israelites, all right? It's going to be a role reversal. Aren't, aren't, don't, they, don't Esau, Edom own the world now? 
when you look at the the the, uh, the your social security number and your your birth certificate, all right, and uh, uh your marriage license and your driver's license, all right, and 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 everything requ- requires requires your signature. Everything requires you signing your nature, right? Nature, genus, all right. You are basically a possession of the heathen. We're all contractual slaves of the heathen. All right, of Esau Edom. It says. Right, so that's enough on that. Matter of fact, I'll read the next verse. It says, Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. All right. Which that this this further uh relates to uh uh revelation. All right. Going back to the New Testament, back and forth. All right. Scripture says, uh, here a little, there a little line upon line. All right. It says thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. All right. Let me type in rod of iron. All right. Revelation two. In 26, it started at 26. It says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So you're going to rule over the nations. All right. If all the nations have the opportunity to be saved. Right. Hypothetically speaking. So we all in the kingdom of heaven. You got Israelites. You got Moabites. Uh, Edomites. OK. You got so-called blacks. Uh, 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 Negroes. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, so-called Caucasians, uh, so-called Japanese. We just all together. la di da 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 So who are we going to be ruling over? All right? We, gonna, we all together, the, the, the various ones that believed in the Lord, going to rule over the other ones that didn't, even though they, they may or may not be the same uh, uh, race. So you mean to tell me I'm going to rule over my own people that didn't believe? No. It's not. It's not gonna be. To, it's not gonna be like that. All right. That just. That don't. That just don't make logical sense. Now the scripture also says, "Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished." So there's been a lot of things that have not been answered for, which is which in the kingdom of heaven. That is when they're going to be answered for. All right. Let me grab that. All right, I think that's Proverbs. Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Okay, the wicked. So, no, there's this, this, this things that ain't been answered for. The Japanese done did stuff. All right, Esau done did. Everybody did something and it ain't been answered for. And the kingdom of heaven is, is nigh at hand. It's right around the corner. All right. It says, uh, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So who's the seed of the righteous? The Israelites. That's who's going to be delivered. Not nobody else. Now, when you, uh, when you going to, um, I said earlier, I said earlier that, uh, a lot of crimes that's been committed on earth is going to be answered for in the kingdom of heaven. All right. So this is uh, this is Genesis 4 and 13. It says, and Cain said unto Yahweh, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out of this day from the face of the earth and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. Now, Cain is synonymous with Esau Edom. All right. And Esau Edom is ruling right now. That's why whoever whoever uh, touches Esau Edom, they're punished to the fullest extent of the law. Like you can't you can't do nothing. on Edom. Even when he even if you write, even if you even if you write, even if you you know, what I'm saying 
and you do something in self-defense or they cheat you, they can, they can cheat you out your money. They can, you know what I'm saying? Your boss uh, mishandle and use you. Jake don't be uh Jake don't be uh getting over when um when Esau do him wrong at work. Jake be talking, oh I'm gonna give me a lawyer, I'm suing. Her. Nah, nah. Very, 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 very rare cases you get a you get a crumb or you get a peep out of out of Esau. Alright? And the, the Lord set that mark on him because the way he couldn't be judged, he, he set a mark on him too, the the the, the pale skin. All right. That lack of that lack of melanin was the first mark. All right. And what's synonymous with that lack of melanin is that the Lord is going to judge him. See, even in the animal kingdom, uh, the majority of things is melanated. And when something born al albino like and it ain't supposed to be, then what happens? They slay it or, or they forsake it. All right. Which that's synonymous with Cain's. All that see me shall kill me. You know, but the Lord said, no, nah, I'm going to put a mark on you because the, the Lord going to do it, you know, in in epic fashion. All right. So back into um, Revelation. What was that? Two and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nation. Now, what is power? Exousia. Strong's G, 1849. Exousia. Exousia, right? Power of choice. Liberty of doing as one pleases. Liberty of doing as one pleases. Over the nations. All right. The same way the liber they had liberty and have liberty to do whatever they pleased at uh, Epstein. You're just doing whatever they want to do. All right. Leave or permission, physical and mental power. The power of authority, influence and of right. And, and, and that's what they say. They, they said they have the they have divine right to rule. Well, that's actually a lie. The divine right to rule was given to the Israelites. The power of rule or government, the power of him whose will and commands must be submitted to by others and obey. So you must, you must, okay, submit. All right. Let me see. Let's grab another scripture. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Jeremiah 25 and 28. It says, now I'm going to start at verse 27. It says, therefore thou shalt say unto them, thus said Yahweh of hosts, the God of Israel and none else. Drink ye and be drunken and spew and fall and rise no more because of the sword which I will send among you. And it shall be, if they refuse to take the cup at thine hand to drink, then shalt thou say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, ye shall certainly drink of it. All right. So if you so if you refuse, all right, because in the because the scripture says, In the hand of the Lord there is a cup. All right. Psalm 75 and 8. It says. For in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup and the wine is red. It is full of mixture and he poured it out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. Right. So if you shall say you're not going to drink of it, you you know, you're going to you're going to be forced to drink of it because you know what? We drunk of it. All right. They whose judgment. Was not to drink of the cup. Jeremiah 49 and 12. It says, for thus saith the Lord. Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. Yeah, we're the kings of the earth. We want to. Uh, that wasn't. That's not for us to do to be servants. All right. But we did. And guess what? And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, 
but thou shalt surely drink of it. Yeah. All right. For I have sworn by myself, said the Lord, that Bosba shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste and a curse. And all this in all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. So ain't no uh, uh, we read earlier, though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. No, you you have to pay for what you did. All right. As a whole nation, ain't no, it ain't going to be no sing like when you watch Black Panther. Right. And they was calling everybody colonized. And then you had the one little the one little guy. Right. Who 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 flew the plane and helped save him part of the day. And he was the one little good Edomite. No, I ain't going to be none of that. All right. Uh, uh, let me see. Whether nation. Job 34 and 29. It says when he giveth quietness, another word for quietness, rest. OK, another word for uh, uh, basically peace. All right. When he give it quietness, who then can make trouble? Right. And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him? Whether it be done against a nation or against a man only. All right. So the Lord judges nations entirely and he judges men. OK. In, in, in this particular situation, we was judged as the whole nation. All right. What the Lord told Jeremiah, even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance, which I gave thee. So even Jeremiah. All right. Received of the judgment that was dealt uh, dealt to uh, his people. Yet he was righteous. It wasn't to the same degree as the wicked, but it, it, he still faced it nonetheless. All right. So th this is the nation on, on Esau. This is the nation pronounced for Esau Edom. All right. This is the uh, pardon me. This is the judgment pronounced for the nation Esau Edom. It ain't no, it ain't gonna be no one little scraggler that was a good one. Oh, this that, that was a good, was a good one. No, nah. because even because our our so called good ones felt the wrath too. Revelation two and twenty six. It says, "And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end." To him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. This is this is uh, precepting back to Psalms, the second chapter. It says, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the whole free lake. All praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rukha Kodash, Shalom.